marketing achievement of MDGs by 2015. Fortunately, our measurement of progress is so overwhelmed by the measure of GDP, which I refer to as greed-driven plunder, <laughs> uh, that we completely ignore the impacts that economic activities, both production and consumption, have on the sustainability of our natural resources, uh, the conservation of the environment, and the protection of the ecosystems of this planet. And as a result, I'm afraid the norm has become consumption and production, irrespective of the externalities that we are imposing on society and on the ecosystems of this planet. So what I would like to highlight is the fundamental need to redefine what progress is. Interestingly, there's an NGO in San Francisco called Redefining Progress. And they give you very interesting and almost amusing examples of how the GDP is so terribly flawed. You take someone who overeats every day. Now, all the excessive food that that person eats goes into the GDP. So you get the sense that human welfare is actually increasing. This person develops obesity and then he starts going to a gym. Well, firstly, he probably needs to go to a doctor. So the doctor's fees also go into measurement of GDP. <laughs> then he starts going to a gym and the output of the gym, the revenues that are collected by the gym also go into the GDP and so on and so forth. So basically, I think what we really need to do is to ensure that we, when we come up with an appropriate measure of economic progress, we at a minimum look at the impacts that this has on the environment, on the stock of natural resources. We're just a couple of days away from, from the UN summit. And uh, even though India has made, made uh, some strides in the MDGs, but we're still very, very far away from where we should have been. And uh, the biggest problem is that if India doesn't meet its goals, then the world fails in meeting its goals because India plays a really, really large part. Not likely to meet any of these goals unless we redefine what progress really is. And I believe that a country like India, and here, you know, I'm afraid I'll have to come up with my favorite anecdote related to Gandhiji. He was once asked whether he wouldn't want India to reach the same level of prosperity as Britain. And his measured and wise response was, look, it took Britain to use half the resources of this planet to reach its level of uh, so-called prosperity. How many planets would India require? <laughs> progresses, the world progresses. Without us, I'm sorry, they're going to miss your target.